been getting a lot of DMs and um, queries about how to sync the EP133 KO2 to the Logic DAW. And I did some research and I noticed that there's really no information on it out there. I don't know why, because it's not a straightforward process or procedure. So I just want to close that void today by doing a little video on it. And let's um, track some sounds from the EP133 into the Logic DAW. So here we have a clean slate with Logic. We have the EP133 KO2 here. And first thing you want to do when you have your door open is you want to come up to the toolbar and you want to select preferences, go to MIDI, and you're going to see the window pop up in the bottom right hand side of the screen. You're going to see MIDI sync project settings. You click that button. Another window will pop up. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you won't see anything selected. You'll just see these drop down arrows. So you want to click on the drop down arrow. And you want to select your EP133 KO2. Then you want to select clock. Once you select clock, your logic settings are now set to send information to your KO2. Okay, so you want to close these two windows here. While we're here, we also want to make sure that you select your interface for your output and input device. That's important. If you don't do that, you won't hear any audio. You won't get any audio. Now we're going to go over to the EP133. And we want to set this up to receive that information from Logic. So we're going to hit Shift, System. We're going to go over to MIDI, Enter, Clock, Enter, and we're going to select In. So now once we have that set, once you hit the space bar on your computer, Logic will now run the KO2. All you got to do is hit the space bar and you'll get your EP133 KO2 audio. Let's go ahead and name all these tracks real quick. I'm not going to lay this whole track today. I just want to show you guys how to do this. So we're going to just get a couple of sounds so that way you get the hang of things and then you're off to the races and you can be able to do your own thing. So first we want to go ahead and make sure this track is armed, which it is. The kick track is armed. And now we're going to go ahead and arm the door, which is the record button in the door itself. Once we do that, then we're going to mute or solo the track that we want to lay down. So we're going to go ahead and get the kick. The kick is laying down. That's enough. We're going to go back to the beginning and let's get the rim shot. Track is already armed. Hit the record button. Now we're going to go ahead and get the clap on the track. Go back to the beginning and let's get the clap sound. Yeah, let's just make this a clean loop. To two bars. And let's see how it sounds. And there you have it. You got your kick, you got your rim shot, and your clap from the EP133 KO2. Let's go ahead and get a hi-hat. Well, let's add two more. This would be the hi-hat. And this would be the open hi-hat here. It's on the hi-hat, which is here on six. And let's grab that. I screwed up there because it's still on loop. So we gotta take it off a loop. And let's do that again. Now we're good. That's good. Let's bring this back. And let's go get the open hi-hat. We just dropped five tracks here. As I said, I'm not going to track out this whole beat. I just wanted to show you guys how to get the EP133 KO2 synced with your logic so that you can track out your projects 
here using Logic. Now we're going to loop it. Let's see how everything sounds. Sounds good to me. And there you have it. That's basically all there is to it. That's how you get your EP 133 KO2 to speak to your logic so you can track your beats into the logic door. Any questions, of course, hit me up in the comments. You guys are feeling kind today. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Take care.